now let us work around init function just like constructors in java this function the init function executes when the object gets created okay you can easily assign values to object properties using the init function so we will see an example now of python class is an object with init let's see okay at first let us let us create a class again class students within that let us use the init underscore underscore init here it is it automatically added self I told you what is self uh, before the class method in python have the first parameter as self to access the class variable a method with no argument should also have an argument self you can add any name but self is fine it by default took it okay now within that uh, you can add the parameters let's say the first is always self so I'll be adding next one as let's say subject name s name then s subject then s grade okay we have the student subject student student name student subject and student grade now using the self we will just assign the values now let us create a custom function a demo function okay so i'll be creating def demo func within that it took self again here we are accessing the values for name student name as well as student subject now we will create objects so we are creating three objects st1 st2 st3 okay now let us add values for the parameter so the first one was name then it was subject and here it is grade okay we added we created three objects now we will call the custom function using the same objects okay so st1 dot demo func st2 dot demo func and and st3 dot demo func okay right click and run run demo 4 now let's see at first uh, here and you can see it created three objects okay then it then it used the first object to call the function it called using st1 that is using the following values Amit programming in A plus and the same got printed here. Okay, I am Amit. I am interested in in the subject. It should be okay. In the same way, it worked for all the three functions. Okay. Okay. So now I guess this would be fine. So we printed one by one for first object, for second object, and for third object. In this way, you can work around init function.